Yo, what's good? This your boy Young I. You dig what I'm talking about? Uh, South by Southwest 2024. And I'm here on the Dark Room Podcast. You dig what I'm saying? Welcome to the Dark Room TV Podcast. Where we give you nothing but that raw entertainment and an inside look into the Bay Area street life. Keep up to date with Dark Room TV and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Dark Room TV Podcast. Dark Room TV, our show starts now. I got the name Young I from the streets, basically. Uh, I was running around, rapping, making beats, things of that nature. And it just, I was the youngest out of the the squad that I was rolling with, so they just used to always just call me Young I. I grew up in Monroe, GA. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, I got the name, like I said, from the streets. I was the youngest out of everybody that I was running around with in the streets. Uh, and that's, that's what they used to just call me. It used to be AI, but then they changed it up, called me Young I. Once I once they started finding out that I made beats and stuff like that. So how my day start as being an artist, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what it consists of is me basically waking up and grinding and getting to it, you know what I'm saying? If you don't move your feet, you ain't gonna eat. Man, we out here South by Southwest, man. Your boy Young I. Finna get ready to do a little promoting, you know what I'm saying? Flyers, you know what I'm saying? Posters. Hey man, if you ain't promoting yourself, what are you doing? You ain't trying to make it nowhere if you ain't out here, you know what I'm saying? You got to promote yourself, man. It start with that first. The grind, the hustle. Then after that, then you get the money. You know what I'm saying? But right now we in grind mode. on to the next. I don't take nothing for granted. You dig what I'm saying? Every little stepping stone I take, you know what I'm saying? I don't never take it for granted, you know? Because you, at the end of the day, you know, there's plenty of people out here that want to do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of the ones that got to be able to do this, so that's what we're doing. Shit, it's a blessing to be out here, man. A lot of people do music, but a lot of people don't get the Rarely come out and do what they get to love. I mean, what they uh, what they love to do because they don't have the money to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 only God, man. At the end of the day, that I get to do what I'm what I'm doing, what I love to do. Matter of fact, uh, tomorrow my single drop for me. Appreciate it, bro. All right. Okay. Bet. Bet. One hundred. All right, now y'all be y'all be easy. All right. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Bet. You from here? Nah, I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm from Chicago. Okay, bet. Yeah, I love yeah, yeah. Jacksonville. Okay, all right, bet. This is what I love to do. Been doing it for so long, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just love doing it. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I never fell out of love with music. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's been around me for so long, you know what I'm saying? You grew up listening to music. You know what I'm saying? You catch cadence and, and how to hop on beats and ride them how everybody else do just by singing along, you know what I'm saying? That was something that I love to do. Mimicking rappers and stuff like that. One of my favorite artists, Lil Wayne. I mimic him a lot. Mama hate my guts cause I remind her of my daddy's shit. Papa was a rolling stone, I hate she won't leave that shit alone. I still yeah. love you though. 16, I'm in the county, no call from nobody either. The one you call your dog, they ain't even there when a nigga need him. I'm by myself when I'm trying to fight for my freedom. Only thing a nigga got for you is a shot out and free him. That was enough for I feel like I'm more of a pain rapper, but at the same time, I do all sorts. I do club. I can go pain, I can harmonize a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I do it, I, I try to do it all, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just this rapper that's stuck in a box, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real artist, I, I, I do my shit for real. <laughs> I 
feel like I ain't got a genre. <laughs> I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I just come from a place where people gonna feel me and they gonna know if it's a hit or a miss. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time I'm making hits. You dig? <laughs> Man, I had to post down this shit, man. I know. I know. I told y'all it's getting dope, but listen, man, we have some dope ass artists tonight on this stage, man. Y'all know what the fuck is going on. Two times I see you. Young high, I see you. Before I got into music, what I was doing, I was in the streets, really. I was just in the streets, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of things uh, changed me. Babies, you know what I'm saying? Having kids, you know what I'm saying? So I knew I had to move around uh, a little differently so I can be able to, you know what I'm saying, provide for them and be here for them. So really, what, what made me start rapping, really, uh, nothing really, it was just around me, you know what I'm saying? And when, when you come from it, from that environment where it's a lot of people doing it, you know what I'm saying? And they actually hear you one time, like one day, and they and they hear something in you, they're gonna, they're gonna just motivate you more to just keep doing it, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how I started, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, my style changed tremendously. Uh, Cause at first it was really, you know, that era of, of the rich uh, rich kids and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? That's why I never leave without my heater, boy. I'm running to that catcher like a cheater, boy. They talk behind my back like they don't need the boy. Yeah, any hoes be the setup too. Yeah, I can never trust a nigga, I could never love her. You will never kiss me. It really changed up around, probably around like, I say around about. 2015, 16, you know what I'm saying? So after that, you know what I'm saying? I, I started developing my own little sound. I know, hey, it would have led for me, it would have had for me, it would have spread for me, hey. We living. Y'all ain't got that yet, but we living coming soon, you know what I'm saying? But once you hear it, you're going to understand why I was coming from that type of place. You know what I'm saying? It's a turned up song, but at the same time, it giving you the real, like, from from being broke to popping your shit, you know what I'm saying? When motherfuckers was having their foot on your neck, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we living by. It's the way we living. I'm finna give y'all one of these unreleased motherfuckers. You did want to come out? What is the meaning behind the song for me? Uh, the meaning behind it is basically, you know, something that's trending. You know what I'm saying? Something like it could be anything. You know what I'm saying? It could be a female. It could be your clothes. It can be. You know what I'm saying? Just anything. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the drip you got on for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's the ass she got on for me. You know what I'm saying? 
You could be, you know what I'm saying, smashing something, you know what I'm saying? It would have hit, it would have, you know what I'm saying, it would spread, anything, you know what I'm saying? So that's where that come from. It would have led for me, it would have hit for me, it would have spread for me, hey. It would have taped for me, it was a face for me, it would have waste for me, it would have led for me, it would have hit for me, it would have spread for me. It would've taken for me. It was a face for me. It would've waste for me. Drug. It's the way that she carry herself. Candles and lotion and The best advice that anybody ever gave me was probably my uncle, my uncle Nine. Everybody know who my uh, my uncle Nine is, but basically, uh. But he tell me, uh, you know what I'm saying, keep putting my foot forward. Never look back, you know what I'm saying? When you driving, you can't look back, you know what I'm saying, unless you're going in reverse. And I ain't going in reverse. I'm going straight ahead. Stop. Night, day, it don't matter. Really? If you really want to make it like I do, you're going to deal with day, night, Pray about it before you go to sleep. Got God, huh? All right. Fuck with you. That's what it comes with. The fans can expect a lot of seeing me popping up everywhere. Lots of shows, lots of calls, lots of parties, lots of everything. I'm coming for everybody. Everything. Period. <laughs> Hey, hey. It would've led for me, it would've hit for me, it would've spread for me, hey. It would've taped for me, it was a face for me, it would've waste for me, it would've led for me, it would've hit for me, it would've spread for me, hey. It would've taped for me, it was a face for me, it would've waste for me. What inspiring advice would I give to an artist? Uh, I would have to say, don't stop. Even when it feels like that you, you can't even see the vision. You know what I'm saying? If you know you got something special, even if you don't see the vision, other people will see it. You know what I'm saying? But it always starts with you too at the same time. So just don't stop because you never know how close you are to your goals. Simple as that. Uh, you can find me on uh, all social media uh, at it's young I I T S Y U N G I. Uh, you can find all my music on Apple Music, Spotify, anywhere. Just type in Young I Y U N G space I, and you'll see me. All right, man, this your boy Young I. We out here South by Southwest, man. 2024, Young I, for me, is finally fucking out right now. I know. Follow me on all social media at It's Young I. I-T-S-Y-U-N-G-I. We got you. This your boy Young I signing out on Dark Room TV Podcast. I know it.